Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, after another week, we hit two locks, so I'm now up to nine locks in a row. Uh, we're going to get into this week, too. Guys, I promise you, at some point in my life, I may miss again. I don't know what we're going to do if I do miss a lock, uh, but we've hit nine. We've hit uh, seven weeks in a row and, and two weeks, including last week. The last two weeks, I've given you two locks each week. And we've hit all nine of them. So we're nine for our last nine locks. There's no one else in the world who can make it do what I do like I do. Okay? I'm the only one that can make it do what I do. No one else can do this. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Follow me. Uh, get the lock of the week. Get the updated props. Get the Ask the Bookie anything. Request a fight. Request I uh, do any video you want. Uh, I will show you how to make money in any single fight that you want. Uh, that there's a book for. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also on a little ticket below. $5 a month. Get you all the updated props. Let's get into... Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All the proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. Let's get into today's show. Anthony Kachachi, Josh Warrington. This is a really interesting fight. Cause people are high on Kachachi because he beat Joe Cordina. And I, I want to get into that. A, Joe Cordina... Ain't what he was cracked out to be. Joe Cordina uh, got a lucky decision against Eddie Vasquez and then lost to Kachachi. But in the Kachachi fight, Kachachi hit him on a break, bad, buckled him, hurt him. He was never the same after that. And then Kachachi got him out. Kachachi is uh, an interesting fighter. He's busy. He doesn't throw hard. Uh, but he keeps him coming. He keeps his shots coming. Tall, long for the weight class. Uh, he's good from the outside. He keeps moving. Good counters off the back. He counters off the back foot. He's he's also easy to counter, by the way, which is going to make this interesting. He's fairly athletic, decent movement. He doesn't sit still, which makes him tricky. I keep comparing him to uh, a boxing version of the basketball player Andre Karolenko. If you watch basketball, uh, you'll know what that means. He does not sit still. He doesn't commit to his shots. He just throws the score. He just throws the score. He's not looking to hurt anyone, really. Um, he gets a little wild, but he's still slippery. He's just awkward and, and slippery. He, he's not easy. He can be pretty accurate from the outside at times, but you know he'll, he'll swap shoot for a while, and then you know he'll, he'll he'll swing wild when he's calm. He's not. He's fairly accurate. He's pretty good, despite how bad he looks. I, that's really all I can say. He, he's a lot better than he looks. If you watch the tape on him, you see what I'm talking about. That that comment I made will make a lot of sense. He's not as bad as he looks. He's better than he looks. He leaves himself wide open to be countered. Uh, he's got quick, quick, agile little feet. Like He's, he's got good little movement. Um, he's tricky. Like you just watch him and, and he's tricky. He stays busy. He throws in good volume. He's good. He throws good combinations. He, he just can't hit really. He doesn't really try to hit. He's he, he's awkward. He's difficult to hit. Um, but he comes in open and and he's just. I, I'm not doing a great job of, of describing. He's an awkward guy who doesn't sit still. Throws from a barrage of angles, throws it in good volume. If you can sit in, you can hit him. When he's on the outside, he's difficult to hit, but you got to wait to counter him, right? He likes it. He doesn't necessarily like to go first. If you can let him go first, he's there to be hit. He's still kind of quick, though. Like he's awkward and he's slippery, but he comes in face first. And you got to time him. Um, you can time him and you can be accurate. You can have him. Josh Warrington, we know well. Former world champion. Aggressive, starts fast. Has a, a bit of pop. He does. I, I know you're going to laugh at me when you see his record, uh, but he can hit a little bit. He's got more He's got more power than his record suggests, is, is what I'm trying to say. He stays on you. Uh, high volume, pressure fighter when he's on. When he's not on. You watch the Kiko Martinez fight. I think that's Josh Warrington's best. 
You watch the Lee Wood fight, he's different. He's more of the back foot. He's not as aggressive. He's more at long range. And he should be coming at you. And Kachachi, he should be coming at him. Kachachi can't hit like Lee Wood, so just get in on him. Get in on him, and you can have him. He puts his combinations together really well on the inside. The right hand, his right hand is quick. He's, he's quick, and he, he doesn't telegraph it at all. And it's just quick, and it lands, and, and it's sharp and accurate. Good counter puncher. He's got decent speed. He needs to be aggressive. He's, when he's at his best is when he's aggressive and coming forward, just applying pressure and overwhelming you. The Kiko fight and the Wood fight it seems like two different guys. It really does. And he wasn't doing bad in the Wood fight, but you could see that if he would have pressured and broke Wood down, this wouldn't have happened. But he, you know, he wouldn't. It wouldn't have. If, if, we, if he would have fought Wood the way he fought Kiko Martinez, and I understand that they're built very differently, but Josh Morgan is a good enough fighter, but he should be fighting the fight on his terms. He has only won one fight since the pandemic, so he hasn't put a bunch of wins together. He hasn't been overly active. He needs to close the distance. He needs to get on the inside. He needs to come forward. He needs to throw a lot of shots. He's at his best when he's swarming and applying pressure. And that's what he needs to do. If he can do that, he can win his fight. I think he does do that. I think we get an upset in this fight. It's not a major upset. Um, but it, betting-wise, he is going to be plus money, and I want to take a look at that now. There's two bets. I like both of them. I would bet on both of these. Josh Warrington on the money line, plus 200 over Ten and a half. Like both of them. Um, I'll bet on both. It's going to make you $200 on the money line and $50 on the over. So that's over ten and a half on the money line and plus 200 uh, plus 200 on Josh Warren on the money line and minus 200 on the over-under. I like both these bets. I think both these are good bets. The $200 bet is going to make you 250 It's going to make you plus money. You might want to parlay these two if you book. Um, see, you can't parlay this on DraftKings. Uh, but if you book a lot of parlay these, I, I would parlay these. DraftKings does not. But I, I think this is a good bet. I like both these bets on their own. Josh Warrington. And over 10 and a half. $200 bet, $100 on both makes you $250. Plus $200 on Josh Warrington on the money line. Uh, minus $200 on the over 10 and a half. All right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. And guys, remember, we have not missed on one of our locks in over seven weeks. We've hit nine locks in a row. Nine locks in a row. You can pull up my tape. You can join the Patreon. Everybody can see it. Link is in the description. Join below. It is uh, September 16th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.